Hello, in the book of Psalms 37, verse 32 and 33, the Bible says, The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. He said, The Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. As I read through that scripture, what kept re-echoing in my spirit is the first line of verse 3, of verse 33, which says, The Lord will not leave you in their hands. In whose hands, you may ask? In the hands of the wicked. No matter how nice you are, there is always somebody who is wicked, jealous, or envious of you who wants your downfall. Sometimes they masquerade as friends, whereas, as our test said, they are seeking to slay you. Sometimes it looks like your enemies and the wicked one already have you in their hands. The fact is, they may actually have you in their hands and already celebrating their evil plot against you. Just like Daniel's colleagues already had him thrown in the lion's den. What about Pharaoh and the Egyptians already had the Israelites trapped between them and the Red Sea? And like this Hendrin already had Peter locked in prison awaiting execution. But as you know, in all of these cases, the Lord did not leave his people in the hands of the enemy. So I challenge you to tell that cancer, the Lord will not leave me in your hands. Somebody tell that barrenness, the Lord will not leave me in your hands. Tell that poverty, the Lord will not leave me in your hands. I mean, tell whatever situation you are going through right now that the Lord will not leave me in your hands. I hope you have called that situation by his name and told them just as I've instructed you. If you did that, then your deliverance and journey to victory, as well as testimonies, have just begun and it will speak forth massively. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Well, there is no better place to be or to start your day than to join me online every weekday morning, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. on what we call and Zion Prevail Online Prophetic Prayers. We've had so many miracles in the last few days that we've had it. And I want you to be part of the global revival and unusual miracles breaking forth. Miracles of healing, miracles of financial breakthroughs, provision, I mean literal miracles, miracles of immigration cases that God has settled. Yours is the next. So join me on two platforms, on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. And the handle name is at Pastor Moses GCF. Subscribe and follow us and be part of it. Well, before I leave you today, I want to say the Lord will not leave you in the hands of that sickness, that affliction, that enemy. In Jesus' name, amen.